In this video, we're doing low volume guitar feedback using a pair of headphones. Guitar feedback is a way that we can kind of psychoacoustically indicate that something is very loud. Um, we all have experience with being at a concert and the guitar's feedback or the microphone feedback. And this is something we can use in our music productions to kind of um, enhance that feeling of really loud. And so I have an example here from the band Rosetta. This song in this section uh, has a lot of guitar feedback that really enhances kind of the aggression of this recording. So I think you know what I mean there. It that feedback, if that was gone and it was just went down to complete silence, that part wouldn't have as much impact. So without the option of recording a really loud amp in a room, we can do this in the box by um, getting the signal from the guitar into a pair of headphones or a small speaker. So I've got a little small speaker here. Uh, this is really easy to work with, or just an old pair of headphones, something you don't worry about uh, damaging through this feedback. So we're gonna start off with the headphones. I'm just gonna plug the headphones into my normal headphone output of my interface. Got my guitar here and I've got a, um, a virtual guitar amp set up. And so here's how it sounds by itself. It's a bit noisy, I know that, but that's kind of helpful for getting this feedback. Um, and so here it is with the headphones, just gonna put this up to the pickup. And so you can record that as a separate track or try to perform with it. And that's where the, the small speaker comes in handy because um, you can kind of just lean into it a little bit. It doesn't have to be loud. It's not loud in this room at all. It's kind of normal listening volume. It's just that small speaker being very close to the guitar pickup um, produces the feedback that you want. No special routing or anything that we need to do with this. It's just the guitar um, going direct to the headphones. Now, if you were recording this in context of a mix, you would need to set this up a little bit differently so that just that guitar goes to the headphones. But in this case, and probably in most cases, it's, it's okay to record those feedback parts separately, um, and then you can just layer them in on a second track or something like that. So I'm gonna set up for another camera angle so you can see this in action. Now we'll set it up for using this small speaker. This is just a little like DIY project that I did. Speaker from like an old keyboard, a um, couple jacks on the back, some speaker wire, nothing special. So I'm just gonna put this up to the pickup as I play. So it really couldn't be easier. It's just headphones into a guitar pickup through that virtual guitar amp. And yeah, it gives that impression of a really loud amp. And that's something we can really use to good effect in heavy music. I didn't invent this trick. This has been around for a long time. I don't remember where I got it from, um, but if you didn't know, now you know. And hopefully this has been useful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support the Reaper blog through Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.